everybody, this is Alexis with Financial Phoenix and I am here today to talk about donations. Uh, it is qu quickly getting into the Christmas and holiday season and uh, it's the time of year that we all kind of start to think about donating and um, you know being part of uh, something bigger than ourselves, um, whether that's charity, whether that's volunteer work. Um, you know, whatever the case may be for you, uh, this is that time of year where we all sort of start to think about that. Um, although I would encourage you to, um, and you know, and myself included, I, I need to do more of this. Um, think about that throughout the rest of the year as well. Okay, today's video uh, is a squad collaboration video, as you saw at the beginning. Um, so that includes myself, Kelsey B saves, uh, Ohio Valley couponer, saving in SoCal, Too Bright saves, and Kaylee saves money. So check out their channels. They're going to tell you all about what they like to donate and how they do it. Um, so yeah, there's just going to be a lot of content for you to watch and uh, it's going to be great. They're going to give you so much information. I can't wait to see everybody's videos. So in this video, we're going to talk about basically the who, what, where, when, why of, of donations when it comes to couponing. Stick around to the end. I'm going to give you some uh, places that you can also donate or give back to if you'd like to. Uh, we're going to talk about that at the end of the video. So stick around. Let's go ahead and get into it. Let's look at donations. Okay, so pretty much where I would start uh, with donations is always with the feminine care products. Um, you know, feminine care stuff is really nice for women's and uh, children's shelters for the women and teenage girls. Um, you know, I typically just buy pads because that's what I like, but you can get tampons, whatever, panty liners back here. These, um, I don't use these, although, I mean, I guess you could, uh, use them as pads if you, um, you know, don't require like a really thick pad or something, but, um, I don't use these. So this is typically a filler item for me and filler items, um, especially in my Dollar General deals are always a good item to donate. Um, so these are $3. We usually have a $2 off coupon, making them a buck to add to our transactions. So this is a nice filler item, and if it's something that I won't use, it's typically something that I'll donate. Now, in the past, uh, I have kept a big, um, uh, there's the kitty, a big uh, crate like this one in the corner where I put donation items um, off my stockpile and I need to start doing that again soon. Um, I recently had a stockpile sale just at the end of the summer and I sold off over half my stock so I'm slowly working to build back up the items that I had sold um, so I don't really have a, too much to donate right now. However, I am going to start putting together um, a, at least a crate full probably um, for the holidays to donate to somewhere. I know there's a women and children's children's shelter near us um, in the next town over that could use some items. Um, so I'm sure anything like this, Kleenex travel packs are really nice, especially this time of year. Tissues, anything you use yourself um, is is good to donate. Um, I'm sure a lot of places can use toilet paper if you can get that for free or on clearance sales, although that's sometimes harder to get good deals on. This is turning out to be kind of like a stockpile tour <laughs> as I'm doing it. Um, you might want to contact like Habitat for Humanity, stocking up houses with like dish soap, even detergent pods, dryer sheets, anything like that. That could be a thing. Um, I'm going to come over here. Deodorants, you know, it's really easy to uh, get free or cheap deodorant. Again, this was $3, $2 off coupon, making it a dollar. Um, you know, we get free deodorant a lot at CVS. So deodorants are always a good idea for care packages and personal care stuff. Toothpaste is something that we always get for free. I'm getting a good amount here. Um, so we'll definitely put some toothpaste in our uh, donation box when we get ready to do that. Razors are good. Men's razors are a great um, donation item. Uh, also toothbrushes, great donation item for, and also good for care packages um, for troops or anything like that. What else here? We've got bar soap. Um, you know, that's another good filler item that we see a lot. Uh, I typically use body wash, but body wash is good uh, too to donate. 
also uh, shampoo and conditioner that's probably one item that I will donate a lot of this coming uh, round of donations just because I tend to get so much of it you can see back there I have a pretty good stock of, uh, of shampoo and conditioner so I'll probably donate a good portion um, especially the Pantene I don't use the Pantene as much so I'll probably donate a lot of that shampoo and conditioner um, to shelters um, I got all of these, I don't know if you can see this, all of those Mr. Cleans when they were penny items at Dollar General. So, uh, yeah, that's something, cleaning products, anything like that, you could donate to animal shelters or um, nonprofit schools, you know, anybody, any places, charities that need to um, have items cleaned. Donations don't have to stop with just items that you coupon or keep on your stockpile. Obviously, uh, donation items can include um, gently used toys and clothes, um, anything like that. Uh, and it just doesn't have to be organizations either. In fact, today, just this morning, I saw a post in my area on Facebook Marketplace uh, about somebody opening a nonprofit daycare center uh, for kids in need. And she was just asking for donations of any kind of supplies, um, any kind of uh, gently used toys or workbooks or, um, you know, kids books, things like that. So we're going to go ahead and put together uh, some items like that for her. So hopefully that will benefit some kids. Um, but yeah, just think about it. Anytime you go through and organize a room, a drawer, a closet, um, put, put items in a donation pile if they uh, still seem like they have some life left in them. Um, you know, they can, it, something that might be just sitting around your house collecting dust can really make a difference to somebody else. I don't have a lot of pet items on my stockpile because with the two cats, we go through them pretty quickly. Um, but I do have some, you can see the two sad little bags of cat litter over there. Um, so yeah, when it comes to cat stuff or pet stuff, when they're buy one, get one free, uh, I typically will pick up some. You can donate that to an animal shelter. Um, treats, you know, buy one, get one free bags of treats, uh, dog food, anything like that. Okay, I apologize about the light in here. I've got one sad little light to move around, so um, hopefully you guys can see this okay. This is Glucerna, the, um, I think it's a diabetic shake, carb steady, yeah, helps maintain, manage your blood sugar. These were penny items recently at Dollar General and I picked those up, so those will definitely go in our donate uh, box just because we don't use them. Um, so yeah, but I mean they were penny, so how can you pass that up? Uh, anything here's another good donate item is like chicken stock crackers you know dry foods try not to get too many cheapy items these were buy one get one free recently um so that's a dry good you know that sits on the shelf that you could donate it's looking drawers here um these are packaged candy these do expire so i don't know um, if those would be a good, but I mean, protein bars, we get so many like free protein bars and, uh, different types of bars like that. Um, what, you know, as couponers, just doing different Ibotta deals and rebates and things like that. <sighs> what else? Let's look in here. I don't know if you guys can see this. Oh, this is going to be definitely a, a donate item. So I found a bunch of, uh, penny contact lens solution that's what this is um like you can see down in there a bunch of them and uh yeah these were all a penny i thought maybe i would sell them um they are you know pretty pricey originally but uh you cannot sell health aids on facebook marketplace and i don't think they're worth too much to sell to send them into ebay so we're just going to go ahead and donate these so this is a lot of contact lens solution that i'm going to donate somewhere whoever wants it um, and down in here, um, I guess first aid stuff would, you could also find a place for too. We've got some vinyl exam gloves that came from Walgreens when they were 90% off. Some other stuff. Um, oh, these were all penny items as well. These uh, denture creams, Polydent, Fixident, 
things like that. Uh, again, not something that we'll use, but they were pennies, so we'll definitely donate those. So this drawer is a lot of stuff that we would keep for our house normally, but we do have kind of uh, an overstock of pasta. We got a lot of the cremette this past week that was 49 cents um, at, at Kroger. So I could probably donate um, some elbow macaroni and things like that. Uh, ramen, also a good uh, um, donate item as well. I'm not sure if you can donate vitamins. I don't know why you couldn't. Those of you that do donate quite frequently, can you donate vitamins? Because I feel like vitamins is one of those items that we tend to get a lot of with pretty high value coupons. Um, we would definitely donate, uh, <laughs> you can see I only have one of these. I, I use this a lot as a filler in like gift baskets and things like that. Um, we just don't use mouthwash, uh, just teeth brushers, I don't know. Uh, one thing that I like to do with the kids is uh, give them a secret Santa person to buy for. So. Usually I will we'll, we'll make them buy for girls um, because they're both boys so they don't kind of want the same toys that the girls typically want. So we'll say, okay, you've got to buy for a girl who's your age. And then we'll take them to the store like Walmart or somewhere like that and give them like $10 to spend. And we'll have them help us put them in the... Um, toys for tots basket or bin somewhere and that really they really get a kick out of that they really like uh, helping to give back in that way one great way that you can give back to uh, our military people that obviously you know need and deserve all the help that they can get uh, for their service is by donating your active and expired coupons to coupons for troops. Um, so I'm on couponcabin.com right now, and this is the program that they're working with. Um, so it's active or expired coupons, and down here, I'll scroll down, you can see all of the restrictions, um, like no food assistance or vouchers, anything like that, no store-specific coupons or restaurant coupons, and none that have been printed from the internet so if you have um, active or expired paper coupons that you just aren't using um, or you know don't plan to use put those in a big uh, envelope or box and ship those out um, you know put those to some good use don't just throw them away or recycle or, or whatever um, you know send those off to our military so that they can get some discounts as well um, so here are the two addresses you can screenshot this and I'll also include them in the description box down below I'm also going to talk about donating a little bit more as we get closer to the Christmas season um, during vlogmas where I'll be kind of daily coming in and telling you how we're getting ready for Christmas one of the things I like to do is have the kids help me go through their room and their toys and look for items that they don't play with anymore or that they've you know kind of grown tired of um, that might still be in good shape for somebody else to play with. And if that's the case, uh, then we can put a box together and make a donation that way. So I'll talk about that a little bit more again as we get closer to the holidays. Um, the boys don't love that process, but you know we're hoping that it helps teach them to give back to others and you know that's that's what's important so parenting this is an absolutely awesome list um and i can't take credit for it this uh is by a website called the spruce um but this is where to donate everything in your home and this um was just was this October? This is was done in 2019, so it's definitely an updated list. But everything you can think of from books to where to donate your old car, uh, cell phones and old electronics, there's clothes, um, computers, furniture, glasses and eyewear, just everything you can think of here um, throughout your home, you know, places to donate that. I would definitely check this out. I'll put a link to this in the description box down below so that you guys can check this out if you want to, if you have some old items just sitting around your house. Also, you know, where can you donate items in your area, stockpile type stuff? Uh, there, you know, for, for food, always look for food banks, food uh, pantries. Um, you know, don't just donate the crappy old stuff in the back of your, just make sure to call ahead uh, and ask what they're in need of, what they're looking for. Don't just 
um, assume, you know, that you know what, and because a lot of places, you know, people like to donate food rather than money. So a lot of times they can be stocked up and not need anything and they don't want to have to process extra donations that they can't use currently. Uh, remember too that places uh, that accept donations are often really bombarded around the holidays because that's when people feel like giving back. So, um, you know, Donating around the holidays is good, but also remember to uh, continue that throughout the year or call during the slower months and just see, um, you know, what's what's available or what they need. So just keep that in mind. All right, everybody. Thank you for watching. Uh, we really appreciate it. Hopefully you guys can find some really good ways to give back this holiday season yourselves. Um, let me know in the comments uh, if you are planning a donation of some sort or if you're, uh, you know, a regular giver. Um, I'm just curious. What do you guys do? Where do you like to donate? What do you like to donate? Um, I love to get this flood of positivity because I know you guys, couponers, are such a generous bunch of people. So um, let me know in the comments what you guys typically do. Uh, and yeah, just remember to save money, make money, and dream big. And I will catch you the rest of this week. Shut up and sit down.